Hello and welcome, Mauricio from Zero One Scene in here. Mid Journey finally released character reference, a way to keep consistency of your characters between generations. Okay, so how it works is quite simple. You type dash dash c ref and space, and then you paste the URL of your image. It can be a URL of an image generated inside of Mid Journey or whatever image you have. It can be a selfie from your cell phone or an image you find on the internet. You just need to bring inside me, uh, Discord and use it as a reference. Uh, you can use dash dash CW to modify reference strength from 100 to zero. Meaning that 100 will look a lot like your characters and zero will look more just the facial features. Yes, it's a little bit what they're saying. He copied the clothes, the hair, and everything, and he is just good for changing outfits and hair, just things on the on the face. Okay, so what they say it's meant for? Uh, it's best when using characters made from journey images. It's not designed for real people photos. We'll take a look soon on that. Uh, it it works similarly to re regular image prompts except they focus on the character traits. So it's like the same of uploading an image to the beginning of your, your prompt, but it will focus specifically on the traits of the character. The precision is limited, meaning you won't do magic. Uh, you won't copy exact dimples, freckles, or shirts, logos, for example. Uh, both work in EG and MJ models, and also can be combined with SREF, meaning that you can apply any style that you want and a character that you want. You can also have more than one character by just putting a space and putting in URL. And let's give it a try. So the first thing I did was thinking, what about other things that are not a person? Does it copy too? Does it understand as a character too? So I created a simple uh, European bird, front of shot, blue and orange dark colors. Choose one image and use as style reference. Let me show you here. Is that same image up there with the CW of 100. And it's the same bird in a different pose. I just kind of change a little bit the angle to have more, more differentiation on the image. So this bird and these birds are, are the same. They're quite incredible. So animals, check. And I think, what about robots? So I create some robots design. Choose this one. You can see here as reference. And it's not exactly the same. Like some small features like the top thing here doesn't work exactly as it is. But by doing one, uh, working a little bit on the prompt, I already started getting the same, same face here. In this case, I needed to add style raw and a really low uh, stylized value so it doesn't change the image too much. So this is a small trick that maybe help you to keep the consistency on the characters. But robots, yeah, working. Then I found something completely out of the world, like something alien, something that is not recognizable in our fauna and flora and culture, something new. So I created this 3D alien fluffy creature and inserted him in a different scenario. So here is struggle the most, I will say, with the eyes. The character itself is quite similar, the foot is changing and the eyes are changing. The first one is the one that looks more with her character. And the other one is not so much. So here for, for trying to demonstrate differentiation in style, create a portrait of another man. Uh, this guy here, James Cupra, uh, he doesn't exist. Uh, and I'm using him in a different scenario. So here, an image style portrait really illustrated using the CRF as a little bit lower than normal and 50, you will have the same character, but in a photorealistic style. So changing styles work quite well. And by reducing the CW value, I can change a little bit of his hair and his clothes too. 
trying the same guy, but in a completely other different style. This time, a uh, Disney Pixar character style. Again, with 50, works perfectly. Okay, same guy in the character style. And now I try to change even the hair color. So I put up a blonde short hair and having a drink at the beach. And that is our guy with a blonde hair having a drink at the beach in the completely different style. So the consistency, the style of your character doesn't need to match the style of your images at all. Okay, that's a good thing to have in mind. And here, a third one. And for this one, I need to down, uh, put down a little bit the CW value to create a 3D hero shot, so another style. And I really pushed here to be like a completely monster. So the character traits, but transforming into a devil monster. And he did a pretty great job. He just didn't get the, uh, the head-headed uh, color on the, the hair. But probably if I go to zero and maybe it will, but I'm pretty happy with the consistency on this one. And now like a simple, well, not so simple, but uh, photography style to photography style. So I get this, this photo of this, this girl, that, which I call it Rocky. And she has a lot of traits, colorful hair, tattoos, the, the shirt and using as, so here it was a test about uh, the CW0, but it didn't work out also. So we need to find another. Maybe it's just upscaling and impating it, and you have the head hair. So I bring her here because it's super complex. Let's see what how character reference works with complex images. So here I use the, the pearl, and I'm bringing her in a Pixar Disney style with a low CW, so it's not exactly the same girl with the uh clothes and everything but it's a pretty similar one then i tested in a different scenario not so so chibi not so cute more realistic but still 3d and with a bigger cw so a bigger reference it gets way more information from our girl and then just testing with uh, normal photography style so it's quite similar it's really really bring all the traces but like this small thing here that looks like a tattoo it's not bringing exactly the, the things in the hair is, is changing a little bit so the small traits is not being perfect but the visual itself of the person is is doing a great job so let me show you the difference between different CW values. So same prompt, same image reference, just different CW value. This is 50, which resembles her in the face, especially bring the tattoo elements, the colors and everything. And I change the, the clothes here, the purpose. Okay. So for me, it's a pretty good job. Here is the CW value of 20. So it brings the facial expression, eyes, nose, mouth and style of hair but starts to change a little bit too much for my taste cw0 is just really transform a lot your character which is not bad this looks a little bit like a younger version of this girl so maybe cw0 is the best uh values to create consistency with the character but in different age of the life. So let's say here she has, I don't know, 18, 20 years. She here, she looks like uh, 14, 15 years old. So you can have the same character in different moments of time by, by using this technique also, which is incredibly interesting. CW40, a little bit of, of merging the two. It's super weird, it's great in this, this <laughs> mustache in here. Uh, CW50 resembling her uh, quite more. CW70, getting a lot of information, the age and everything is matching quite well. 90 is almost the same person. And 100, you go to the same person with the different traits like the tattoos and the small details change, but the rest is the same person, okay? Let's jump into bringing more than one character to the scene. 
Is it possible? Yes, it is. So I have our Ruffin girl and our James Cupra here, and they're both in the scene. All of things. In a completely different style, anime style, in a completely different setup, background, and a completely different clothes. Okay? For this one, I went for, with CW of 60, so it grabs a lot of their information, but changes a little bit the hair, a little bit the clothes. That was the intention. And I bring Niji to this one. So images generated with normal mid journey, work on Niji too. CW work on Niji perfectly. And two characters also work perfectly. A tip is try to use the same name you're using to reference your girl and your guy, your character. You know, that will help a lot. So here's the same thing, but in the V6 environment. And I went a little bit too far and tried to add our birds together. So here, what it did is on the first one, it merged both characters, merged Rock and James Cupra and br brought the bird. On the second one, it brings James, it brought Rocky and it brought a version of the bird, not exactly the same. And here is it just merged the characters. Here it brought them all together, different bird because of the low CW. If it was a 100 CW, probably be better. Uh, so yeah, this is 100% uh, with Niji. So this is 60 and this 100, keeping way more the characteristics. It does sometimes confuse the characters. Here is good, here is good, here is merging characters, okay? So think about also your aspect ratio to like have space to fit both characters on your scene. That's, that's important. Now the same with the bird, but now with a CW of 100, it did not perform well. It did not, it just merge everybody and then add the bird. The bird is consistent at least, but the, People, they are just merging it. And with the W of zero, it just kind of those people, but it's not. So when you try to get more than two characters in the scene, it starts to perform under it, okay? And I even try to like increase the area, which will help a little bit. So here, but it's still with CW zero, it's merging everything together. And with CW 100, still not not the best thing so i will say for now the limit will be two characters on three starts to getting really confusing which doesn't mean you cannot do it you just have to do it differently so for this case if you have to have three or more characters what i will do i will create the first character pan down or pan up or pan to the side and add the other character using a different siraf and that will work and let's get into the end of this. I tried to search myself as a, a reference for the, the, the mid journey. So I upload a selfie of me, cranky as always. And with a, a CW of 70, I put myself in these caves with this wizard kind of robe thing. And the CW 100, it went a little bit further. Uh, it's not me. It's a guy that looks like me, but it's not me. So for outside the photorealistic things, like me during already said on their announcement, they, it doesn't work quite well for images from outside mid journey, but it, it does a work. If I use like my, my, the same image in the beginning here, we'll flash it more and probably will be quite similar. So another thing I decided to test it was products. Does it work with products? And the answer is kind of. So by referencing, refreshing this image without giving any specific things on colorful, on this drawer or anything, just the same name, El de Perfume. And here I gave the super colorful El Perfume. So it's, it's, it's referenciating to the same bottle. Uh, it's not exactly the same, like we can see that here in the top special is quite different. And I did the same test with car, which I bring the car here, a futuristic design of a car, and test it here with a different stylization. And it, for me, it, 
at least a really similar car. Okay, so it, it, it definitely works for products too. You will need to influentiate a little bit more, but it definitely works. In this case, from the, the, the perfume, what I did was I use the same image as reference in the beginning of the prompt. So it brought more about this roundness in the top, but again, we have to play with values to achieve the great result. So yeah, consistency in mid-journey characters is possible. I can't wait to see what you all be doing and the amazing consistent films you will be submitting to Zero One Cine. Thanks a lot. See you soon.